Hey guys, this is Malik Malikin. I'm a real estate agent with Keller Williams Studio City. I want to talk to you about five reasons why you need to purchase a house in 2020. Please like, smash that like button, subscribe, and tell your friends about this video. I'll wait. So, ever since 2008, when we had a housing crash, we had many different changes that have happened in the rules and the regulations of the mortgage. The prices of houses were appreciating much more higher than the prices of housing appreciating currently. For within the uh, six years leading up to the housing crash, uh, the prices of the houses increased from 85 to 12.5%. But currently, the since 2014, the prices have appreciated from four and a half to six and a half percent. So it's a steady increase. Number two is mortgage credit availability. The mortgage credit availability index is a monthly measure by the mortgage bankers associated that gauges the level of difficulty to secure a loan. Remember back in 2008, it was very easy to get a loan because anybody could get a loan no matter what type of job or no job whatsoever. Well, things have changed. The banks have changed their rules. They learned not to be bad people anymore and just give away loans. Now, it's harder to get a loan, which means it's harder to find a good buyer. If there are a lot of buyers, you need to be pre-approved first and then look for houses. There's a lot of people who are looking for houses, then looking at seeing if they qualify, and it takes more time than necessary. Number three is number of homes for sale. One of the causes of the housing crash in 2008 was when we had an oversupply of homes for sale. Currently, we are undersupplied. We have almost around six months worth of inventory in the market. If we have less homes and we have a lot of buyers, the prices naturally go up. It's the law of supply and demand. Number four is the use of home equity. Back in 2008, 2007, 2006, people were just using the money that was inside of their home, the equity. They used to do a cash out refinance to take the money out and use it to purchase another home or a boat or a house or live a luxurious lifestyle. Well, things have changed and they noticed that that was the reason most of their houses got foreclosed on. Currently, since 2017, there's not a lot of cash out refinances happening. And number five, home equity earned. Today, 58.7% of the homes across the U.S. have at least 60% equity. In 2008, homeowners walked away when they owed more than their homes were worth. With the equity homeowners have now, they have much less chances to get foreclosed on. What's the bottom line? If you are considering to buy a house this year, there's no need to fear the market. We're not in a housing crisis and this is not like 2008. I wanna to talk to you about how different examples that I've been through currently and what's happening in the current market of trying to get a house or buy a house for clients. This is a simple example in, in April, of this year, we were looking at a house in Shadow Hills, California. Shadow Hills is northeast of Sun Valley, on, right on the west side of Sunland above Burbank, that area. It's a very beautiful nook area that has, it's a, it's a horse area. You could walk a lot of horses, there's a lot of ranches there, and it's a very nice area. Now this house that we were bidding on was renovated. It had a pool, it had around 20,000 square foot of land, it was a hillside land. And the per people who were interested loved the renovation, they loved the house. But the price was 875,000. And we were like, okay, April, the beginning of COVID-19. Should we try to get a little bit off because it's COVID-19, there won't be a lot of pe people interested in purchasing the house. We decided to lowball this offer. So we offered 845000 
when we were in a they they we offered they came back they said what's your final offer and said we thought you know 845 it's a little bit too low let's raise it to 855 maybe 855 will do the bidding for us we did that and then i called the real estate agents and we said you know due to covid 19 coronavirus did you guys think about lowering the price even more he said you know due to the virus we were going to list this price this house around nine hundred thousand, but we listed it at eight seventy five. And you know how much it sold for? Eight eighty five. This is a great example for you to know that the house housing market is still increasing, it's still rising. And if you have the means, you have the pre approval, you have the money in your bank account and it's if you think it's time for you to purchase a house, just know that we're not in a housing crisis. We're not gonna crash. And a lot of people are thinking to themselves, you know, next year, after the elections, the prices will go down, the interest will go up, and we could snatch a few properties here and there. But think about this. If you're thinking like this, and if another person is thinking like this, and there's multiple people, there's thousands of people thinking, you know, lots of investors, flippers, first-time home buyers, they're all thinking this way. When there's one house and there's lots of people who are qualified to purchase that house, don't you think the price is going to go high again? Don't you think like, I, I have this analogy of crows over some meat. The house becomes the meat. There's a lot of crows coming in and try, trying to get their piece of the action. So what I'm trying to say is, if you can purchase a house, if you want to purchase a house, if you have the income and you have the money saved up, you should go ahead and do it. Whenever you feel comfortable, it doesn't matter if it's right now, in the future, whenever you feel comfortable that you could pay the payments for your mortgage, you should go ahead and buy the house. My name is Malik. My email is sellitwithmalik at kw.com. It's S-E-L-L-I-T-W-I-T-H-M-E-L-I-K at kw.com. If you have any questions, concerns, if you want to buy, lease, rent, sell a house or a property, please contact me. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching this video. Please share this video and subscribe. Don't forget the like button. I'm waiting.